So I was going into the vets to buy some special cat food for our cat. And uh, there was this beautiful dog in there, turned out to be Hugo. And basically the guy who had Hugo just said, do you want him? And I was like, what? Look at that happy face. Yeah, happy dog. When we met him, he had this lovable nature around him, but there was just this insecurity. You could see that he didn't quite feel safe in the world. And I really related to that. And I said that to him and I said, you know, I'm going to take you by the paw and we're going to do this together. You know, you and me, we're going to feel safe in this world together. Can you do some up dog with me? No, just sleep dog. After her daily yoga session, Natalie will be taking Hugo in to see Scott. The bull mastiff has little medical history, so he needs a thorough vet screening for any potential problems. I think it's just to be sure and to be on the safe side, we just want to have him checked over. Every day I just look at him and just fall in love with him a little bit more. He's just the most gorgeous being and I adore him. I love you. Yes, I do. Oops, this way. Oh, you're Hello, sweet. you must be Hugo. Yeah, Hello, this is buddy. Hugo. Look at you. Hey, you've got to have a voice like that. Has he got a voice like that? At St. Margaret's, Natalie has arrived for Hugo's checkup with Scott. Hello, my name's Hugo. I'm very handsome. Is <laughs> Absolutely beautiful, aren't you, mate? Should we go and see you in the concert room? If I have to. Come on then, let's go. Natalie's just got Hugo, so we don't really have much history. So it's really important that we do a full physical exam just to make sure that he's healthy as he starts his new life. Can I have an examination of you, hey? Well, I suppose it's for my own good, isn't it? <laughs> Very rarely when I'm treating animals do I hear them speak, but for Hugo, he's got an incredible deep booming voice in the form of Natalie. The old ticker okay? <laughs> Sounds good, yeah, yeah. So let's have a look at those big choppers, yeah? Okay. Ooh. Ooh. But the fun stops when Scott finds a mass in Hugo's mouth. Is that the first time you've seen that, Natalie? Yeah. Whenever you see a lump in the mouth, of an animal, that's always a concern. The reason being is that they're very black or white. They're either completely benign and nothing to worry about or fiendishly malignant. And the animals that have that type of tumour can be dead within months. So that's very much something that we need to look at straight away. It's not something we want to leave. Yeah. And particularly uh, the love affair that you guys have already struck. No. <laughs> We don't Baby. want to break your relationship up. And I think sometimes we have to jump on these things quickly yeah. and just make sure it doesn't uh, get out of control. Okay. As a vet, we see relationships between owners and animals all the time. But the relationship that Natalie has with this dog so soon is incredible. Mm, I'll probably be fine, Hugo. Eh? Well, she absolutely adores him. Mm. Scott will remove the lump immediately and send it off for testing. I'm going to go for a little sleep. And then after that, we'll find out what's wrong. He's only just come into our lives, so I just can't imagine or think about it not being OK. Uh, no, you're staying with I'll me, buddy. I'll see you later, baby. Bye bye. Oh, God. It's going to make a funny noise, this. <laughs> oh, I know. Oh, so he's a good boy. Oh, Come on. I know. Yeah. I know. It's a horrid noise, isn't it? So you get used to it. Oh, you oh. are a big baby, aren't you? Oh, my goodness. To knock out Hugo, we need to place an IV catheter, which allows me to give him the anaesthetic he needs. But unfortunately, big Hugo is a bit of a baby, and he doesn't like the clippers. And it's all done, see? That is all done. It's all done. Yeah, we're all friends again. Thank you. <laughs> all friends. All right, so sleepy time now. I'll get that nasty lump out of your mouth, shall we? Scott and Nurse Emma can now start removing a suspicious looking mass on Hugo's gums. Okay, one, one two, two, three. 
Now that Hugo's under anaesthetic, I can really see this lump and it's a very angry looking thing and it's extending quite a long way down the enamel of his canine. So what I'm gonna do is basically cut it off at where the gum line should be and hopefully in future that'll mean that he won't bleed as much when he's chewing things. Right, well, Em's alongside the anaesthetist. I need you to be uh, chief lip holder. It's not a title I get assigned every day of the week. No. This isn't the most elegant of surgeries. I'm literally just going to have to lop it off. That will just lift away. Okay. One nasty lump removed. All right, so that's that. I think it's time to wake him up. Good boy, there we Good go. Boy. There we go. Oh dear. Hello. The lump will now be sent for testing oh, to find out if it's cancerous. Happened. If it is something sinister, it's really concerning. So we'll just have to wait and see, cross our fingers, and hope for the best. Later that evening, Hugo's owner Natalie is waiting at the clinic. Oh, I can hear him. Anxious to be reunited with her gentle giant. Ah. Hello. Here, who's this? Uh, my boy. Hello. Hello. It's me. I cannot believe you're not more excited. Mm. Oh, you a bit dozy. How's your mouth, Poppy? Yeah. yeah, I'm really happy with the result. Yeah. Um, it came away really nicely, and now he's got okay. a nice, clean gum line. You'll be able to see. So that's normal. And then this is the new one. So you can see it's oh, nice and yeah. straight and clean now. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow, what a difference. And now we've just got that anxious wait for the next few days. For the results. Yeah. Are you a bit anxious too about it, hey? Uh, yeah. Just hoping for the best, really. You know, coming in for a health check and then spotting something and to have it treated very quickly is brilliant. And then Hugo will hopefully be okay and life can resume as is the new normal, the new normal with Hugo, <laughs> which I can't imagine a normal now without Hugo because <laughs> it's just such a fabric of my life already. Come on, Hugo. Come on, champ. Wake Come up. Come on, big fella. Time to go. Yes. Good boy. Thanks, Scott. All See the you best, Natalie. Bye, Hugo. Bye. Bye, here's the man. Thanks, Scott. Bye. Bye, mate. Yeah. Bye. Hugo, what's this? Are you interested or do you just want to sleep some more? Hugo is now back home and his devoted mum, Natalie, is preparing dinner. Uh, is it steak? No, it's dog food. Oh, I want steak. Well, what are you having for dinner? Can I have some of that? Here we go. Dinner. It's been four days since Scott removed a suspicious lump from the bull mastiff's mouth, and Natalie has just received the test results. Scott gave us a call to tell us the good news that he has the all clear, which is, yeah, brilliant, brilliant news. I was saying I wasn't worried, but underneath, I was just desperate to get those results, and I don't think I'd realised how worried I was until we heard that he was OK, because I got really teary and was just so relieved. Having a nice snooze there, Hugo. You are the most beautiful dog in the world, aren't you, Hugo? You're so handsome. If you guys loved that video, great. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel below. That way.